Hey everyone, Serena here. Thanks for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Now today I have an unboxing from Jerry's Artorama. It's quite a big box, so let's get to it. Now before I start, I just want to say I love unboxings. I watch them all the time. Um, it gives me a chance to see supplies I wouldn't ordinarily see and maybe save myself from getting some mistakes that I or things that I should buy. Uh, the unboxings get the highest views on my channel, but I can't do them all the time. You know, I'm not sponsored. I do buy all my supplies myself, so I just can't do it money-wise. Also, I'm aware during these times that, you know, a lot of people are having a hard time, and I don't want to be insensitive, so I'm not encouraging you to spend a lot of money, but use what you have to create beauty amongst the chaos. You know, create something beautiful and then share it with friends or family members. Brighten their day. And really, if your work is at least a little bit decent, think about donating it to a nonprofit as a fundraiser to raffle it off or something. You know, that that's a win-win. A lot of nonprofits, libraries, agencies are struggling right now and they get they need that funding. You know, so um, it feels good supporting the agency for the person that wins. Uh, they get to hang the work in their home. You get the fun of creating art, and the nonprofit gets that much needed funding. So it's just a win all around. You know, there, there's a lot of positive things that we can do that don't cost a lot but can change people's lives. So think about that when we're going through our unboxing here. Now let's open a box. First of all, this is a really big box and uh, for the first time instead of using scissors as I'm always complaining that we creatives don't have the right cutting tools, I finally have an X-Acto knife. So let's get going on opening this with the knife for a change. And you know with an exacto knife you're not cutting the you're cutting the tape. You're not cutting the box itself. So you're not really going to dull your knife. Okay, but they are really sharp, so put the lid on it right when you're done. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Oh my goodness. It's a big box. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is to take out some of this and then put this to the side, take the items out one at a time. So I got a lot of little things and what I did was put the box on the floor because it's just too big. Uh, so I'll take these out little by little in groups. First off, and it's a mix of all different media, so media supplies, so you know, um, bear with me here. So first I got some Upo and that is a very um, put out by Legion. It's kind of a it's kind of a plasticky surface. It's not paper per se. It's almost like a it's like a polymer and I use it for um alcohol inks. So I thought I would try that because they did recommend that. Um I've been using tile like that you get at a hardware store for tiling your bathroom wall but the problem with that is they're very heavy and of course you know you can wipe them off and reuse them but you really don't want to keep a whole bunch of tiles because it just takes up a lot of space all right next I did get a set of raffine uh, pe color pe uh, not colored pencils but graphite pencils for sketching and I like this set because it was a reasonable price and it goes from 2H all the way to 8B uh, so it's 2H, H, F, H, B, B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, and 8B. Now you usually don't see the 7 and 8B, um, and I, I haven't really tried any that soft, but I would really like to see what they're like. So that's that. And I picked up some different... Uh, trial size things that Jerry's has. I like Jerry's has those and uh, I know Jackson's in the UK has these trial sizes. But this was a Crescent uh, hot um, Crescent watercolor board and there are four in here. I didn't know how many there were 
when I uh, ordered them. It was one, I think it was one of Jerry's buy it, try it deals, but there's four in here. And this is kind of the benefit of seeing these unboxing videos in that you can uh, get a little more detail than what they show you in the catalog. It didn't say how many there were, but I'm pleased that there are four in here. Some of them are quite thick. I, I kind of like this. It's basically watercolor paper mounted to a board, and the surfaces feel quite nice. Um, they've got a hot press, cold press, cold press, and a hot press. So they've got a hot press, a cold press of different, I guess, they're different papers that they've got. But that'll be nice to try as a, a trial there. Oops, all that paper got on there. And I did get, also in a buy it, try it, uh, the Da Vinci Liquid Art Panels. And this is a gesso panel. It's got a wooden edge to it. These are all like, you know, just a, a dollar or two. Uh, this one I know comes in larger sizes, and they show in the catalog some nice um, work that people have done on these. But I'm going to use this for alcohol inks. I guess I'll tape up the inner edge so it doesn't seep in and just kind of go crazy with the alcohol ink, see how pretty that comes out. I also got uh, for my oil painting, which I'm getting back into, these are Centurion Universal Primed Linen Painting Panels. And it's a package of three. They're four by six. I'm not going to open them because I'm not ready to use them right now. But they're basically like just a, a panel. But I'd like to try linen. I've never painted on linen before. Of course, they say that's the gold standard of oil painting. Uh, the masters used linen, so I would like to try it too. <laughs> and along those lines, I also got, I don't know if you can see this, it's a Raphael Premium Archival Oil Primed Linen Panel, um, only for oil colors, 5x7. Uh, so it's already oil primed. I don't want to open it up, but I guess they're, the panels are facing each other. And I would think you'd have to, like, maybe gesso the sides so the oil didn't sink into the side of the wood. Looks like there's uh, layers of wood there that might be damaged if you get oil in there. So I'll probably prime the sides there. These are, um, this is a set of masking fluid brushes which you don't really need a special set for um, for, your, for using masking fluid. You do want to keep the brushes separate from your other brushes though because you can ruin them. But I like the different sizes here. There's a nice assortment. Some large ones and then small ones. Just enough, uh, more than I'll ever use probably. I don't use masking fluid a lot but I do use it at times. And I didn't want to ruin my other brushes. The other thing I like about this is that the color of the handle uh, sets it aside from all my other brushes so I won't make that mistake of grabbing the wrong brush and dipping it in the frisket and ruining it. Okay, now I got, these should be, uh, pencils. Okay, I got some pencils for sketching. Now I've always wanted to sketch in something other than black. These are Conte uh, pencils. Let me make sure I'm getting that in the frame there. Yeah, Conte pencils. I got a sepia, a uh, white and a sanguine. And those are beautiful colors. They're going to be really nice on paper. I do have some special paper I bought for doing a few very nice drawings and I'd like to do those in these colors. Okay, now I want to get a piece of paper and we've got to try some of these beautiful rich colors. Uh, let me make sure that's in focus and on the page. But look at that. This is the sanguine. Oh, look at that. That's going to be a beautiful color to sketch with, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, that's nice. And then, of course, the sepia is a darker brown. That's nice, too. Look at that. Very nice. I don't know if you can really get a sharp, sharp point on these because they are very uh, chalk-like, but you can still do a drawing. If you do it on a larger scale, you won't need to go that fine. Of course, the white, we're, you're not going to see white on white. It's just white, <laughs> but I can use that for uh, for uh, some black paper that I've gotten and do some interesting things on that. So I just wanted to try those and show that show that to you those lovely colors. 
Okay, let me take a break and get another batch of supplies that came in here. Alright, so I also got some Strathmore canvas paper because I'm starting to get back into painting with oils. I used to paint a lot with oils and I thought I'd try this out. Uh, it's just another surface I can use instead of having to use uh, the boards or even a, a stretched canvas which takes up a lot of room and I don't have a lot of room. This is more for practice or studies. Um, it's a little pricey but I can make smaller works and just do my studies on this before I actually get a painting going and ruin a big canvas. I say ruin, you never really ruin something if you're learning from it. Okay, so I also got uh, in that respect, I got a Strathmore acrylic paper. I love this paper when I, when I saw it. Uh, I have a smaller one that I've been using and I really love this paper for the thickness. It is so thick. It is um, 246 pound or 400 GSM. It's really nice. It's specifically made for acrylic. It's got a canvas like surface to it and I got it in a 12 by 12 because I'd like to try some square format. I want to try 12 by 12 and 10 by 10. Uh, I also got a smaller one which I thought was kind of cute but it's a 6 by 6. I can easily use that to do a square you know, square it down for a 12 by 12 work and do a study on this to see how the 12 by 12 might li might work. Um, might could also just use it for 6 by 6. And then I got some panels from Jerry's that are just basic panels. Uh, they feel pretty well made. They're very heavy. It doesn't really feel like cardboard in there. I can't really in fact bend them like you can with regular cardboard. Uh, but I got 10 by 10. Again, it's 3 pack and I got a 12 by 12. Um, they're not cheap, but when I finally do some studies and work my way up, I figure I'm going to get um, work it on this size before I put it on a canvas. So let me get these out of the way. This is a Gamblin set of different media. Um, let me see what it's got in it, in fact. It's got a little booklet there telling you what it is. It has, ooh, that one got a little bashed. That's a solvent-free gel. Um, this is refined linseed oil, uh, Gamsol. That's a solvent. This is cold wax medium. Um, I think you use that for a more dull finish on your paintings. Uh, Galkid and what's the other one comes with Neomegalip. Uh, they're all, oops, it looks like one's leaking there. Uh, watch that one. Um, looks like they are all explained in here, what they do. That's a nice little, uh, this has more than what's in here. Uh-oh, I think I'm smelling some solvent. Yeah, I just got some on there. Whoops. I think I just opened the lid, in fact. Otherwise, it'd be all over everything. All right, but they give you a nice little guide there, and let's see if that's the one that's leaking or linseed oil. It smells like a solvent. All right, so we'll leave that there, out of the way, and we won't mess with that. Here I've got some other small items. I needed to replace some of the watercolors that I've used um, in my uh, in my. Uh, first professional kit. And I've got a thalo blue green shade and a cadmium yellow deep, both from Turner. Got a little squash there, but that's okay. It's nothing, not damaged at all. Not leaking or anything. That's the important thing. I, I always had good luck with Jerry's. They've never really had anything uh, damaged or leaking all over. If I had a problem, they always made right. So, uh, the other thing I got here was uh, some tit titanium white acrylic paint. That's just a small tube because you use more white than anything else. And I did pick up some sepia pit pens that I'm going to use with my um, I'm going to use with my watercolor journal. I like using these to draw the outline of the plants first, and then 
paint them in later with watercolors but these are waterproof so um, they're going to be nice and they are I think there's one brush in here but the others there's small or fine small and medium thicknesses so I'll have a good assortment to start with but I like that they're sepia brown it's going to give my work a totally different look to it and I'm looking forward to doing that this summer spring and summer Another thing I picked up was a technical pen because I use the size 3 a lot, the point .3 a lot. It's, it's my favorite size. I like that and the point .5. So I thought I would try this. It's refillable. You don't have to keep throwing them out. And since I use them so much, I thought this would be um, an interesting thing to get. I've used the, like the Rapidographs. The, um, it's a Faber-Castell brand. I can't remember what it was called, but it's like a Rapidograph. You just refill it and you keep using it as needed. The only thing with this is you do have to make sure you don't let it clog because they, they do tend to clog. But I'll try that. The last few things I got were uh, Jerry's Castaway palette. It's just a uh, plastic coated a uh, bunch of sheets that you can use for acrylics or oils. I've used them for oils. Uh, they're great. They're no mess. When you're done, you tear it off and throw it out. I, I know not best for the environment, but um, if you're using solvents and everything, clean off your palette, palette all the time, this is kind of a better thing just to try to use as little paint as you can, not have a lot left over at the end, but you don't have to use all those solvents either. And then I picked up Jerry's has these nice mesh bags. They've got a smaller one for uh, that I use for brushes and pencils. And they have, uh, I think, a larger one also. Um, but very nice. They have, a, they have a long, small one and a short, small one. Uh, but these, this is a really nice size. I thought I would use this for plein air painting to just put together a, a little inexpensive kit to go out and take live painting with me. So I got that too. The last thing I got, and the reason for this big huge box, is the newsprint. I got some Strathmore newsprint uh, paper. I do a lot of uh, sketches on these, large size. I also use this for, uh, and this is 18 by 24, I also use this for my scripts. When I do a more involved video for YouTube, I will write out my script and then put it on the wall so I can read it and make sure I don't miss any points. But it's an expensive, um, it's got a hundred sheets. It was, you know, it wasn't very expensive. I was running out on my other ones, so I did need to replace this. And, you know, I got everything I needed to all at once, so I'm not going to do another um, haul for a while. I'm, I'm good to go. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. And don't forget, make some paintings or do some artwork and share it. Give it around. Let, let some other people enjoy your work too and, and brighten their day. See you next time.